Mega forces awakening, Yellowstone quakes intensify as Mount Etna threatens to collapse into the sea. A massive eruption might just be a matter of time. The continent that trembles at Yellowstone National Park, dawn rarely breaks without a shiver deep within the ground. Bison graze across steaming plains, tourists stroll past boiling pools as if the earth is simply breathing calmly. But beneath the surface, a relentless drumbeat echoes through the crust, a nearly constant vibration of tiny fractures, crackles, and slips. Scientists don't detect millions of earthquakes every day, but sensors reveal something almost as unnerving. A constant storm of micro-shaking so small, most can't be located or counted. Yellowstone's crust is alive with the movement of hot water shifting faults and the pulsing heartbeat of a supervolcano that has not died, only slept. Each year, the park records thousands of earthquakes. Many are too small to feel. Some come in sudden swarms, lasting hours or days. Then, silence. Then, another burst. This is the song of Yellowstone, a place where magma, water, and rock struggle for balance. And lately, the song has grown louder. USGS analysts say the pattern feels different, more persistent, more energetic. Earthquake swarms have begun overlapping with pulses of pressure in the hydrothermal system. Small cracks widen, new faults hiss with steam, old geysers awaken without warning, and then Steamboat comes alive. Part 2, The Fury of Steamboat Geyser. Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser on Earth, had once been a sleepy giant. But in recent years, it erupted into a frenzy unmatched in modern times. Its massive blasts, towering columns of scalding water, sometimes 100 meters high, shook the ground with roaring force. Each eruption releases enormous amounts of steam, superheated water, and underground pressure. Park rangers describe Steamboat as the closest thing to a hydrothermal volcano. Now, in this new period of intensified seismic trembling, Steamboat erupts again with even greater violence. The early morning explosion sends a column of boiling water into the sky, jetting higher than a skyscraper. Steam roars for hours like a locomotive, the ground shudders underfoot. USGS teams rush to measure the shock waves. This is not normal, one geophysicist whispers, staring at graphs spiking wildly with seismic pressure. Beneath the geyser fields, a network of fractures appears to be expanding. Superheated water is migrating through new pathways. Some scientists fear this could lead to hydrothermal explosions, sudden violent blasts that can carve craters the size of stadiums. These events have happened before in Yellowstone's distant past, and they could happen again, though not as catastrophic as a supervolcano eruption, a major hydrothermal explosion could be devastating, hurling boulders, ash, boiling mud, and superheated steam across the landscape. As the geysers roar louder, some experts confess privately, we don't fully understand what's stirring below. Part three, a uh, uh, volcano that slides into the sea. While Yellowstone shivers, another giant across the world begins to break apart. 
Mount Etna, Europe's most active volcano, rises over the Sicilian coast like a massive, restless titan. For centuries, it has erupted lava, ash, and fire, but the danger now is not just what rises up. It's what moves down. Geologists monitoring the southeastern flank of Etna have discovered a slow yet unstoppable shift. The entire mountain face is sliding toward the Mediterranean Sea. Not inches per decade, but centimeters in single events, slipping suddenly, unexpectedly, as if the volcano is being pulled downward by some enormous force. The fear is that one day the flank will fail catastrophically. A volcanic collapse of this scale could send billions of tons of rock plunging into the sea, generating a colossal wave that would race across the Mediterranean basin. Coastal cities Catania, Syracuse, even faraway North African shores could face devastating tsunamis. Scientists are careful to avoid panic. They stress that the slide is slow and a massive collapse may not happen for centuries. But pressure beneath Etna has grown. Magma chambers deepen and recharge. Cracking has increased. Fissures multiply across the summit and down the slopes. Satellite radar shows new fractures forming in long zigzag patterns. The mountain is literally tearing itself open. And if Etna's flank moves abruptly, the consequences could reshape the map. The uh, age of Earth's restless giants. From Yellowstone to Sicily, scientists see a common theme. Earth's internal engines are shifting, not in a doomsday sense, not in a Hollywood spectacle of explosion sense, but in the scientific reality that our planet is a breathing, moving, molten world and we are only beginning to understand how interconnected its systems are. Pressure builds, ground rises, hydrothermal systems pulse, volcano flanks slide. And as these forces intensify, Yellowstone's geysers erupt more violently than ever. Earthquake swarms ripple across the caldera with new energy. Cracks split the slopes of Mount Etna as gravity. And magma pull at the mountain's core. Leading volcanologists are more watchful now. Instruments are recording around the clock. Satellites scan every movement. 